This interactive activity can be found at www.visnos.com. In this tutorial video, I'll be talking about how to use basic angles, which is an activity which deals in basic angles. So, as in all the activities, when you move your cursor over a control, you'll see in the top bar a description of what the control does. In the top bar, you'll also see various icons. This I icon stands for information. If I click it, you'll get a dialogue which can be moved around and it tells you about the actual activity. This one's one of the more advanced ones because it actually tells you, points to the controls and what they're actually doing. So I'll close that. You can also close the activity by clicking the X and normally there'll be a video um, icon here as well. So the main control in this activity is this one here. This is used to select a different type of angle. So if I click complementary, you get a complementary angle. But I'm going to st start with one, which is the first mode. Um, in all the modes, you can drag the angle by clicking on the handle and moving it to change it. You can also click this R button, which will produce a random angle depending on the problem. So this is producing lots of different angles. And then the angles are displayed over here with a corresponding letter. If I click this control, it's hidden, and now you don't see the angle you see the actual letter A. So in this first mode, we also have this control here, which is uh, showing you the type of angle. And as you can see at the moment, we have a reflex angle. But I can drag this round, so eventually you have a straight angle, 180 degrees, going on to obtuse. A right angle would pass if you're careful enough, and then acute. So you can also use that with the random button, and you'll see the different angle. In this case, you might want to hide this angle all the time. So you could ask your children, what type of an angle is this? Check, it's obtuse. Randomize again, what type of an angle is that? It's obtuse. Randomize again, if you want, you can display how you're doing this. So acute, acute, obtuse, and so on. You could also use this basic mode along with the protractor which you can get from clicking this button here with the P. So now with the protractor displayed, you can try and me measure this particular angle. So I'm going to move the protractor around. So you can see that's just over 90 degrees, about 91, 92 degrees. So check. Yep, 92 degrees. So hide again. Random problem. What angle is that? So it'd be a good idea to start off with is it acute, then an estimation, then the measurement. So in this case, it looks like it's six degrees, which I'm correct. So obviously you can use the angle type along with the protractor. So as we move the angle around, you can see at what point it's going to change over from acute to right angle to obtuse. And you can use this, you know, quite well in the classroom. So I'm going to hide the protractor now. So now let's look at the next mode, which is complementary. So straight away we get a random problem. In this case, because this is selected as hide all, letter A and letter B are both hidden. But you can show one by clicking it, 72 degrees, and B is 18, which adds up to 90. And also notice you have this little square here to indicate the 90 degrees. So you can drag that around as well. So it's a more traditional um, introductory problem. So now if I click R, we've got hide all, so both are hidden. But I can use this mode now, change this to calculate, and you'll see one of them is shown and the other one isn't. So now we can actually work out from um, 70 plus B equals 90, that B must be 20 degrees and reveal the answer. So then if I click R again, we get another problem. 60 degrees, what's B? So it must be 30. Click R again and so on. So you can make any kinds of problems like this. You can also change how many lines there are. So I'm going to change this to four. So now you'll see you get two of the angles given to you, seven and 77, making 84 degrees, which means this, this A must be six degrees. So I'm correct. Um, also, you can hide the squares and create spots instead, or you can have none. One other control I haven't mentioned is this one here. When I click this, it makes all the angles equal. So in this case, um, because we're talking about three angles in a complementary, that's going to be 90 divided by three, giving you 30 degrees each. 
if I change this to two and press, sorry, I should change it to three, it's because of the number of lines, press equals, then you'll get 45. So both of the 45. Okay, so moving on to supplementary angles. So it's very similar to complementary. This time you've got a straight line, what are the angles on it? So we'll make this a bigger one, a bigger problem. Um, we've got the mode here as calculate again. So you'll see you've got 11, 19, 85, and you could work this out. Again, you can use a protractor indeed to actually measure the angle. So that's really the exact same as uh, the complementary, and you can use this equal button again as well. So moving on quickly to point. This is angles at point. So the angles at point add up to 360 degrees. So you could check that by revealing this and have the class use the calculators to add up or create a random problem, see if the same thing happens. Again, we can use equal button. So when there's five, 360 divided by five is 72. What's it with six? 60 degrees each. Okay, so that's angles at point, random problems, very similar to the last two modes. So finally, we'll look at the last mode, which is intersect. So this is angles uh, where lines intersect. So I've actually got this on calculate at the moment. And in this kind of problem, you can actually work out what every angle is. So A here is going to be 53 because it's vertically opposite. To work out B, you can point out that this is a supplementary angle. So you can work out 53, um, it's going to be another um, 7 to make 60, 27, 127. And D is vertically opposite, so that's going to be 127. So that's angles intersecting the two lines. So this control here has been um, removed because it's not relevant anymore. You can use the equals, but it'll always be 90 degrees. So once again, you can create infinite random problems. What's this one here? Um, 150, A is 150, D plus 150, supplementary angle must add up to 180, so D is 30. If that's 30 there, then B is vertically opposite, must be 30. And we already said A is 150. Create another problem, a bit harder, and so on. So I hope you've enjoyed this activity um, and the tutorial. It's one of the simpler um, activities. Um, so that's it. Uh, you'll find this at www.viznos.com or also check out the web app in the Chrome Web Store.